Hey, what's going on, everybody? I know who it is. It's JJ. You know, we're back at it like an attic, no rehab. So, we're going to be looking to do just a quick little walk around. Uh, this, um, I forget what year it is. 2004 uh, Pontiac GP or D, whatever. Um, it's 2004. I picked it up off of ACB for 750. Flights on. It has 178,000 miles. It does have a little, little rust spot right there, but the tire is in good condition. I'm gonna take it to the detail shop because y'all can see like all those little like crevices and like all that pet hair and like cigarettes and so. Good looking car though. Good looking car, wheels, good tires. Dual exhaust. Sunroof. Like I said, it's really dirty. I haven't got all these stickers off the window. Like all of that stuff. Clean up these tires and these wheels. Clean up these tires and these wheels and stuff. Pop the hood for y'all. Get that. Get that full clean detail up there on there. Where it shines and you know. Yeah. Make sure they clean up under here. You know. Make sure they clean up under here really good. You know, spray it off and everything. That just looks, you know, popping the hood, people gonna be like, oh man. Oh man. So make sure they really spray up under here good, get get all knock all that stuff off. All that dirt and stuff. I could do it myself, but I'm not gonna do it. Because you know. Everybody has a job and detailing cars is not mine. Yes, I can go and clean this car up, but then that'll be, that'll be what? How dirty this is, that'll be maybe hour, two hours, you know, just depending on trying to get all as clean as this possible. Or I can just go drop this off at the detail shop, go look and try to go buy some more cars. I can drop this off at the detail shop, go look and buy some more cars. I can go get some other business handle. Then when the car is done, they'll call me. And all I gotta do is pick it up, take pictures, you know, because look at this person already had the oil, oil change, because I already checked the oil and stuff like that, but I should have checked it with you guys, but I already checked the oil, so the oil is already fresh and clean, so I already got the oil change. I checked all the fluid, but I'll be, I'll be making a video of that because I'm doing a do-it-yourself, do-it-yourself, do these do-it-yourself videos, so make a video of basically telling people uh, what to check you know and how to check stuff you know try to check as much stuff as possible because like i said i always be saying a lot of people don't have many people to help them out buying cars and stuff like that so maybe my video gets circled around and it helps helps people buy cars and helps ease the relationship between car dealers and consumers consumers and you know car buyers and people that just sell cars maybe we can make the transition and everything more much more seamless and, and not having so much dysfunction and so that's why I'm trying to give out as much advice so people are not getting ripped not getting ripped off or not buying cars with no title so that's why I make videos like telling you buying titles so make sure 
you know people like knowing showing how you can go about getting your title making sure that you making sure the title making sure the person has a title making sure you're not buying a car without a title and all that stuff you know making sure like once you buy your car it's your car you know because i it, i've been in this business and just selling cars and just being at other dealerships and stuff like that or hearing other car dealer stories it happens basically all the time you know a lot of people buy cars and never got the title registered or the person that sold the car it wasn't even really originally their car so i'm going to cut all that out and make the car buying the used car buying process a lot easier for people and a lot easier and a lot safer and just a better overall better experience you know, I'm not, it's not going to be, able, I'm not going to, you're never going to be able to help everybody, but as long as we can help as many people as possible, and if, and, and when these videos finally get in the YouTube algorithm, and we keep growing, and this video helps the, the next person, then maybe they'll share it, it'll help the next person, it'll help the next person, and then we'll eliminate the, we'll eliminate some of, some of the cluster, and some of the misconceptions with selling cars. But yeah, this is a good little car. I picked it up for 750. It doesn't have any service lights on. Um, I'll sell it for. It's got 170 on the miles. It does have a little rust. 750. So shifts all its gears. It's not like out of line or anything. Ship it does everything that it needs to do. Heat, AC, leather, sunroof, you know, all all the works. Um, but I'll probably sell it for like twenty, about twenty eight hundred, twenty five to twenty eight hundred somewhere in there. So hey, I bought it for a good deal. I passed a good deal on to somebody else because it's still a good, still an overall good car. So you get a car with no service lights, good tires, heat, AC, good thirty eight hundred series motor. Got a lot of life left into it. Pull up here at the detail shop. You know, the person buys it. I'm gonna get the cigarette smoke out. Um, let me see if they can clean these carpets, carpet mats, and just like put them back in there. Or maybe no, they'll clean the carpet. So I, don't, I ain't gonna even need the carpet mats. They'll wipe down all, all this to get cleaned. So all that'll get cleaned, that'll get cleaned, that'll get cleaned, that'll get cleaned. that it'll make somebody a good car but start right up go long gas so well, I can pick it back up I'll put some gas in there take some pictures <sighs> appreciate everybody for rocking with me let me know in the comment section below was it a good deal also let me know in the comment section below it's 2500 to 20 it's 28 to 20 25 to 2800 a good selling price and appreciate y'all for rocking with me i'm out peace